Perfect match. You actually ate from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you, care for the house, no matter what happens. Before I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours, I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Olgir. I want you out of my sight. Olgird von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. Dearest wife, letters from Old Gear to Iris, where I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy fort grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you wither. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health, and remember but the good times, Old Gear. Lifeless and boring. 
You're not him. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. And I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. I have come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Your husband's got a powerful enemy. Gontaro Dim. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. Who is he, and how'd he step into your lives? It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? Your husband hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate, because at heart he's unhappy. At heart he is stone, so nothing has changed. And did... Did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much, but I didn't ask about you. 
He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift. Got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real, and I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. A friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest. If I take the rose, you might cease to exist. As might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer. But I fear there will be cold and darkness until... there is nothing at all. I can't take the rose. Is it not what you came for? Can't force Iris into... oblivion. She thinks and feels still, and she's no danger to anyone but intruders. Look at her. Look at her world. She's doomed to relive the painful past eternally. Take the rose. Show her mercy. What should I do? What do you want me to do? I do not know what I want. I'm so very, very afraid. You too. You want me to take the rose, trying to convince me. Why? We want to help Iris von Everick. And you. Generous demons? I don't buy it. Because you are demons, right? You were to serve Iris until the end of her days. End didn't come with her death, so you were sentenced to stay in the world of her torment for all time. Can't break the contract yourselves, so you need me to do it for you. If I take the rose, Iris will cease to exist. But you'll also be freed. You're right. But are we wrong to want that? Our intentions are pure. We're but bit players in this tragedy. A performance has gone on too long. We can't help the mistress, and her fate no longer moves us. Can we be blamed for simply wanting to leave the stage?
I need the rose. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received it. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Orgird. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. I shall give you the rose. Our service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Glass that can't be broken? So long. I'll remember you, Iris von Everek. That no longer matters. Farewell.